But yeah, how's everyone? How's everyone today? How's everyone feeling? Another beautiful day, man. Sipping on my coffee over here, 8 a.m. Getting ready to start the day. Nice. I literally, my coffee just, um, my coffee just hit maybe 10 minutes ago, so I was getting super, super hyped. But, um, yeah, I need that coffee today. <clears throat> um, uh, what do you call it? So, um, we might wait for a few more people to join and then we'll kick it off. Um, so with today's, uh, live draw, we'll be picking back up off, uh, from the, um, uh, acid tug from last week, because again, I've been working on, um, a lot of stuff this week that I can't show yet, but a lot of stuff is going to be launched in the next, actually this weekend we'll be dropping some stuff as well. So I'll be doing some sneaks of something I've been working on for a while, uh, tomorrow, um, which I might sneak a little bit in this one, but it, I just got to keep it really, really cryptic. Um, and I'll also show you guys something as well, um, a little quick collab that I've been working on, um, but just um, just keep it here within this chat. I don't screenshot it or share it because it might conflict with the other project, how they want to drop it. But um, I don't know if I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to show it yet, but that's dropping tomorrow anyway, so it's not super um <laughs> outer answer it's super it, it's um it shouldn't be too big a deal that's why i thought like maybe um i'll sneak it today um but uh i hope everyone is having an amazing amazing day either either way uh i have been absolutely working non-stop the last week and the coming weeks as well because we've got so much exciting stuff to be dropped i'm super ex i'm super super amped but um, yeah, going to bed like 3 a.m. every night and my missus is not happy with me, but um, she understands for the good of the project. So what we might do is I might sneak, I might start with a sneak anyway, and then we'll end with a sneak. Um, so there's something that um, we will be revealing, uh, like I think we should aim to be fully revealing on Sunday, but I might do a bigger sneak tomorrow. Um, and I'm just going to keep this as cryptic as possible. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You just can guess or, or think about it however you want. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to show you guys, this is a really zoomed in part of it, but, um, just the detail that went into this, I kind of went, <laughs> went a bit out of control. Um, but once I started it, I just had to keep going. But um, yeah, this is really, really zoomed in. But you can see the, the details are pretty crazy. And um, I can't wait to drop the full thing for you all. But uh, we'll get back to the acid tongue. Um, so from what we did last week, uh, this is where we were at. And this one was shaping up really good. So basically... Um, uh, Spicy's tagging me in something. Oh, general check. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, guys, you can't tease me about the cat anymore. I can't reset it anymore because she got fixed. So she literally has gotten fixed as of... Um, she's literally gotten fixed as of, of uh, <laughs> Monday. So... Yeah, the, the scarab sneak peek um 33rd of the entire pick so i literally I literally hear. um i can yeah. hear spicy she's got a microphone on what's up spicy i can hear some feedback from myself talking hi just setting up hey, new hey, commands hey. for you in the server yeah i just seen okay <laughs> you can't you can't do it anymore because I can't. Re I've I did like the ultimate reset and we fixed it, so we cut everything out of her. Um... Oh, it's so bad, magic! It's ridiculous. The meowing is is, and it's not a normal. It's not a normal. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the utility of owning a pad. I will fly over and reset your cat. Um, added utility for the top tier holders. Um. 
Yeah, it is. It's it's basically one thirty third, maybe even like one thirty fourth or fifth. But um, uh, when I said one thirty fifth, basically I just took the sneak and then I multiplied it on the on the piece and just counted up how many times that square t tiled, and it was thirty three times. Well, thirty three. It's pretty more 34 because it's th um, three thirds at the bottom. But uh, yeah, so this is a bit more, but the other one, the scarab one, um, is definitely one thirty third. So the detail is pretty crazy. The my the Illustrator file um, was so chunky in the end that I had to like split the design across multiples and then work on it in separate bits so my computer didn't grind to a halt and then bring it all back in. Um, but uh, yeah, the cat. Hey, hey, spicy, calm down, calm down. Actually, I feel really bad. Okay, I know I'm, I'm going to start drawing guys, but um, basically the doctors, the vet said that there's like, there was two large cysts on her ovaries and he thinks it's because like, she was in like such strong heat like so much release of hormones but then i felt bad because i was like thinking maybe it's because i kept resetting her so much because when you reset her she rolls around and all the hormones are released so maybe i was like overly resetting um okay yeah so beard as well guys i don't see liquor here a uh, liquor grains in here as well so guys and i liquor i forgot to i didn't formally reply to that text but i see i see the point in it as well and I can agree with you on that as well. So the acid tongue <coughs> liquor was putting in a request that maybe I don't include the beard on this one um, because um, uh, you guys are really going after the nakeds and the beard can kind of cover a lot of the body that will be there. Um, also as well, um, for girls as well that want a kind of feminine pad, the beard obviously, um, the beard, yeah, that edit's sick. The beards may be an issue. So, cause I have put beards on a few of them. I have thought, I have thought about it now. I was like, I have been putting beards on quite a few. So I'm just going to show you guys. Um, and again, guys, I'm always open to suggestions from the community um, and feedback. Like that's, I, I do really, I do really like that. So don't feel afraid of coming up and telling me this kind of stuff because, again, um, I want to create stuff that you guys really enjoy. Um, but I do see the point. Thanks, Johnny. I just figured. There's like a bunch of them that already have like five o'clock shadow and mustaches and stuff. So like those ones could have a beard put on them and it wouldn't even hurt any aesthetics because there's probably not anybody that wants five o'clock shadow on their female in the first place. Yeah, yeah. I, and that's that's why I do I do see as well. I do see that I do really see that point. So with this one I am going to remove the beard. Um Thank you. Because yeah, because I um I really do see it. And as well like if your missus really likes the acid tongue and then she's got a bearded one, it's going to be like, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's not going to be a beard on, um, uh, on this one, guys, but there is beards on other ones as well. So what we could do, you know, we could we could replace the, the beard part with, and again, this is like something where we can, it might be too much for the picture now. Um, I'll just show you guys just quickly. Let's start sketching a bit. Oh, um, blue for some reason. Um, let me just drop the opacity down on the acid tongue so I can see what I'm drawing. And we'll put this up. So we could do something a little bit like, um, I, I really do think that sometimes this is a, a cool feature. I'm just gonna show you. So, um, so with the ninja slice, you can see that the body's still going to kind of come through, but we could maybe, but then again, I'm just saying that like, this might be too much for the picture. It might just be like over the top, but we could create like a, um, uh, 
uh, some Uh, some additional draw that kind of peters out a bit like this but it's not gonna it won't cover the it won't be an opaque draw it will be like um, similar to the, the the ninja slice so I'm just gonna put this in and then I'm gonna go back to the chat because I'm not looking at it to see everyone's reactions but Yeah, what do you guys think? Drool or no drool? I mean, we keep it, we can keep it like that, or we can add the kind of the drool in. But just remember, it's gonna be a drool akin to this one, where you can still see um, what's kind of coming through in the bottom. Or you guys might be like, eh, actually, the acid tongue is enough without it. So, do, 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 do. I'm gonna put. Drool, no drool, and the one with the most reactions to it will keep it. Okay, so we got two drools, three. Okay, everyone, okay. You guys love, you love our drooling pads. I do as well. But sometimes I, I'm always worried, like maybe. It, you know when you like you do, <laughs> you, you find a feature that you really like, and then you're like, I wonder, am I overdoing it? You know. Um, but it's also like similar. I love adding like a little gold tooth in. I love doing that. Okay, so this one is essentially then kind of. I might work on the draw a little bit more after. Um, I'm just going to cut the drool out and put it on a separate layer and then we're going to ink this one uh, in the live draw today um, let me just clean up my layers a bit uh, we get rid of it down there drool and that can die. Okay. Sketch. I've started realizing like, because sometimes when I'm working, I go crazy with like adding different layers and stuff like that. And I've now made it a point just to kind of, if I clean up my layers a little bit, it actually helps my workflow. Um, okay, so. Uh, we might okay, okay so we drop this down turn this off but yeah let's work on this dude because he's pretty cool and uh, get my pen out up the opacity and And we'll up the smoothing a bit. Oh. Uh, who's naughty naughty? Oh, not like naughty? Okay. <laughs> I thought naughty naughty was like a character. Some like Portuguese character. That comes and smashes you while you're playing Smash Bros. Or is that Ada? Smashing his bros. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, don't know if you can hear that hammering, but they're doing some work uh, in the apartment complex. It's also getting so fucking cold here. I don't know, I know Australia's just going into summer, so I'm a bit jealous. Also, so I don't know if anyone's following the World Cup, but uh, Morocco beat Spain, which is like a massive upset. And there is like a lot of, um, uh, it's quite a lot of Moroccans or like um, the Arabic population here. So <laughs> the streets were just going crazy um, the other night. Yeah, me too. I was happy as well. I was like, Inshallah, Abdullah. Um, I have a friend who's um, uh, was my girlfriend's friend. She's Arabic, so we were just sending celebration messages. I said we have to celebrate by um, having some halala. Halila is this like, um, uh, uh, well, I think it's Lebanese or it's uh, Arabic soup and it's fucking unbelievable. It takes ages to cook. Yeah, do, do not say it to a um, Spanish guy. Um, an Arabic guy actually told me to fuck my mother here once. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know, didn't know he was saying that, but um, my girlfriend knows a bit of Arabic, so she translated for me. But uh, yeah, like funny story, we were like, we we're kind of chilling in our, chilling in the bed on a sun Sunday morning. And then we had this big commotion outside and um, we looked out the, we looked out over the balcony, and this um, uh, Arabic guy got got caught pickpocketing. So some locals just had him up against the wall, just holding him down till the police came, because <laughs> pickpocketing is quite, it's quite quite prevalent here in Barcelona. Um, and I just was like <laughs> out on the balcony filming and just watching. And then he got arrested and he was in handcuffs and he looked up at me and I just gave him a smile and a wave. And then he was like, not happy. <clears throat> and that's when he dropped the uh, Arabic fuck your mother. Uh, so, yeah. Que tu calas le puta boca, yeah. No, it's not. I know puta is like not a good word, like slut or something, so puta is not, don't try and trick me, Ada, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got called, uh, I got called Konyo by this old woman in Menorca, actually, which I thought, I was told it's the um, Spanish equivalent of cunt, but Apparently it's not as harsh, but it's still pretty harsh. Puta is bitch, yeah, okay. What's coño? Because I was walking along the street and I just, like, I hardly touched her. I just, walk, like, I accidentally bumped her and I turned around to apologize and she just was like, eh, coño. And I was like, eh. Like the um, she didn't like the, she didn't like me. She thought I was a gringo. Well, I know gringo is more like a Mexican, Mexican term for for an outsider. Also, don't know if anyone's played the Call of Duty campaign, but I actually from that campaign I learned what gringo where the term came from. Does anyone know where the term came from? Don't Google it. Don't Google it, don't Google it. Um, so it was something to do with the Civil War or, or, or something to do with the war and all the 
US troops wore green coats. So they would, it was like a basic thing saying green go, green go. Like they didn't want them there. They wanted to fuck off. So it's like green go, green go, eh, green go. Um, source, trust me, bro. But uh, the source, uh, Call of Duty. So don't quote me on that. It was, um, I was playing the campaign and they were discussing that. Same thing I learned as well, like uh, the origin of the word sniper. Do you know where that came from? Does anyone know where that came from? Johnny's trivia, trivia, trivia day today. I have two. You what? You Sorry, have two the, trivias? Yes. So the um, no, wait, origin first, of the wait, wait. Oh. Are, you, are you answering mine or are you going to just throw in another trivia and like, just... I'm just gonna throw in another trivia. No, 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 wait, wait. Let's just wait. Let's just do one trivia wow. at a time. Wait. Otherwise, you you're wait. steamrolling. You're steamrolling me. Oh wow, okay. that's rich. Spicy, <laughs> po spicy is just being a puta, puta. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, I mean, no. Really? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a term of endearment according to Ada. Oh, a, a puta. Last time I checked, was a prostitute. <laughs> no, I think it's a bitch. Point out. Well, I know, I know Putana. Put, 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 Putana put, is a prostitute, or Troya is, is slut in Italian. Well, put, put in, put in a. Um... Johnny put it in his cat. <laughs> yeah, wait, put, <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> um, put in um, French is prostitute. And salop is slut. See what I mean? There's too many similarities between the, the French uh, prostitute and the putana is Italian for prostitute and puta sounds an awful lot like prostitute. Lick is saying, say, vet, la verge, spice, verga, verga, I don't know what that means. But guys, does anyone know what, 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 where the term snipe comes from? Okay, let's get back to the trivia. No one? Uh, so... It comes from um, like old old days uh, when people were hunting, and I'm pretty sure it might have been an English term. But um, a snipe is a very small little bird. I think it's like a little swallow almost. And if you could obviously shoot a snipe, you are a very good shot. So it kind of originated from that. So someone who can shoot snipes is a sniper. And then um, you're a bit of a crack shot. But spicy, um, we want to hear your trivia now. Now you may speak. Spice. Oh, I'm I'm so glad that you know um, I have your permission after you called me basically a slut whore. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, I did not. I, Sp Ada told me. It means. I like just confirmed in the chat that that's what it means. It means it means a slut whore prostitute. So that's fine, Johnny. Shit. Guys, <laughs> help me out. Help me. Help me out here. Help me out. No, you're in a sinking ship on your own. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm, the I'm the Titanic, and they're playing the violins. <laughs> and you're Jack. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> plenty of room on that door. Okay, let's yeah, talk about day, that. Mate. We could have take could take turns. Um, okay, so I've got I don't know, you know, how uh, accurate uh this trivia is, but I was told that the origin of, of shit mm -hmm. comes from when they used to uh you know uh import export manure on on ships and they had on the side of it um s h i t standing for store high in transit ah yeah okay mm -hmm. cool and then the next one is fuck okay i'd like to um, hear the or or yeah <laughs> so uh this was you know probably even before then um where people needed to receive consent to fornicate, so it's fornication under consent of king. Fornication under consent, the of, consent king. of the king. 
Mm, that's what I got of told. The king, of the king or kin, yeah. as in family? Of the king. King. Shit. So what? Every time you wanted to have sex, you had to go ask the king. Um, I, It might just be in a, a procreation sense. Yeah. I think maybe it's like almost like marriage. Like, obviously there's no sex before marriage, so but like we need to consult. Like I said, this. not entirely sure. The I just muted myself <laughs> mid-combo. <laughs> Other <laughs> answer said, hey. faces all over again. Other answer said, "Hey, can I have sex?" He asked. He asked me, "Hey, Johnny, can I, I have sex?" To get it, he's oh. calling me the king. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. He said, he's and then he said, a hole, That's why." Wait, and then other answer said, "Spicy is a puta." What? Other, don't say that. No, he didn't say that. Spicy. I'm just trying to get him in trouble. Um, this little guy's looking pretty cool. Is that that one? Um. <laughs> Not so normal, Nate. Very nice. I say it's so white. <laughs> yeah, I say my Spanish is so shit. Like we went, to, <laughs> I went to a restaurant with um, uh, my missus and her brother, who are French, and their Spanish is not amazing, but it's like also it's way better than me. Like they're 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 at a level where they can like order stuff, <laughs> and they're like showing off like ordering you know, their pollo and whatever, like, doing everything right. And and I'm just, like, the retard in the corner that just has to, like, hold the picture, point at the picture of the food and be like, por favor. <laughs> um, yeah, I really suck. But in my defense, like, I know I've been living here since February. It's not just your Spanish that sucks. How did you pronounce uh, Bot EDR's name? <laughs> yeah, but okay, that until he put a dot in there, like, how am I supposed to know? I'm gonna read it how I how I read it. <laughs> you know. Or when you when you used to say F instead of E. F. I still say yeah. F. Oh God. <laughs> I, I'm gonna see myself out. <laughs> what F or E? I think it's like a potato potato situation. Yeah, yeah, or like puta and. Not put a. Hey, not so normal. Felt the there. same way. Not 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 huh? not so normal. Felt the same way. He's like, I thought the same thing with bot ADR. So. Oh, did he? Bot boat, boat doctor. <laughs> Magic spot boat doctor. Maybe it's because I knew I uh, um when I first uh met him I knew um yeah. Uh, he told me his oh. name, so I knew that it stood for ADR. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But still. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, EDR. EDR. EDM? EDR. What, are you, what is EDR? Not EDR? I will let him tell you. Bodida, get in the chat. Did that one on purpose, guys. I know it's like Bodida. Ah, okay, sick. Okay, that's fair. What did I about to dox myself? Uh, 
gonna do this fancy curly pipe. half or top half of them. Yeah, like some of the names, like where do you guys get your names? Like Utterancer. Utterancer. Romances of others. I mean like Ills, Colorado, you know, I'm assuming Ills lives in Colorado. <laughs> Be funny if he didn't. Um, Richie Rich over there in the chat. He's got a lot of money. Or it's Macaulay Culkin. That's his Discord name. Magic Skywalker World. Wait, <laughs> you're in Wisconsin, okay. <laughs> then why is it called, okay. Did you make it when you were in Colorado and then you moved? Ah, okay. Hey. Jurassic Kings, because um, he's a time traveler from the Jurassic period, so he was a tribal king, and he's come back. Um... <laughs> Part raptor. I like the um, simplicity of irons, just iron, a bit like Sher, like no last name, no just... I am I am. Uh, okay, this dude's nearly done. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Lately, live draw has just it, it's like it's like seventy percent me drawing and then thirty percent me just having fun in the chat. I'm not complaining, but uh, I got some deadlines here, guys, and. Need to get need to get to it. <laughs> yeah, it literally it is. It's fun. Live draw is my favorite time of the week, guys. Always fun. Clean up that nose a bit. Looking very nice. Um, stuff like uh, this. I'm just going to drop the opacity. We'll do these rings. They're not rings, they're more like bangles, I guess. might just keep it like that. I won't add those little tiny bits. I think it's too much. Could be an idea, Magic. 
but then I also do like the exclusivity of it, like being a like a little Discord perk. I don't know. Fuck. I also feel because um, there's the drawing chat, like people are more inclined to chat and gif and have a have a vibe. <laughs> I like that drastic. Um, let me just delete these bits at the bottom. Also, guys, remember poll app. Open up your ticket. It will be claimable. Um, if you just want, do you just want me to show you what the pop's gonna look like? A little sneak peek. Or just wait to use mint. It's up to you guys. Um. Okay, let's get some of the some of these bits down. Because some of it I'm leaving to do in Illustrator. That's why. Push the other uh, 25. Um, I'll show you. Oh, this is your pull-up for this week. It should be. Um, don't know if you know what trait that's from. Actually, that'd be a little fun little trivia. Does anyone know what trait this is from? I've shown it to you guys before, but I don't think I've snuck the whole thing. Like, I don't think I'm... It's not in sneak peeks. It's It was in, like, a drawing chat. <clears throat> For those playing at home. Um... Not green tongue, not mushroom hat, not side neck, not laurel eye, unfortunately, guys. Jeez, guys, I thought you watched my live draws. Honestly. Guys, come on. It was a little nice while ago that I snuck them out. Um... Yeah, love. <laughs> yep. Any other guesses? Okay, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. One word. Spicy. Ding, 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 ding. We have a wiener. Um, I'll show you guys, actually. Uh, I've I've shown it before, so I'm not in, I won't get in trouble. I hate that gray background. Make it pop. But yeah, nice big blur, blur, blur in French, français. Parlez-vous français? Le au cochet la voix c'est ça. I can't say it properly. I, go for it. Uh, I like the snake. Double snakes in the crystals, but that's um, what's that? Yeah, the snakes can work for a lot of things. I feel. Okay, let's get this this part done. And again, it's going to be one. Can 
continuous line. No, I don't like it. Um, Macaulay Culkin likes it, doing the fire. I'm just joking, Richie Rich. I know you're not Macaulay. Um, but I'm glad you like it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, pink hair there. Um, also, I know someone said that they really like the cowboy hat now, and I will say I have put it on a couple of, um, I've dressed it up on a few patches to see how it looks. I'm not going to show you that yet, but, um, yeah, it's, it looks pretty damn cool. Definitely a trait that I think will work well with a lot of pads. I'm not gonna lie, my um, I've never really experienced this before, but my shoulders are actually, it's gonna sound so like, my shoulders hurt. But uh, my shoulders have been hurting because I've been drawing for really long periods of time. And with the Cintiq, you move your arm around a lot because it's so big. <coughs> um. But cooking up a lot of different things, which is uh, I'm super excited for actually. Yes, please. Other answer and Jurassic, each one shoulder each, please. Now we will do some of this, do the 20. So some of it I'm leaving to take into Illustrator. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Now, I'm not ignoring these bits that like in the and I know I'm going over, but it's it's better to overshoot and then erase later because you get um smoother lines because sometimes you create a line and then as you're trying to come to meet the edge, you kind of fuck it up like that. I over exaggerated that one, but like let's say you're doing a line like that, so it's gonna cut off here if you do it and then slow down to meet it, it can be like a little bit off. Where it gets fat, where it's like that, and then you just come in and raise. I mean, it's marginal, but it's the little things that count, guys. It's the little things. 
I don't know what that is. What have I done there? Hmm. I don't know what I've done. Uh, it should just be one line. And then you got the gum here. I don't know what I did. Sorry, guys. But fix it. These big teeth done. Okay, we've got about 10 minutes left, guys. So um, I'm going to keep going with this. But um, also, I will show you guys again. I'm going to show you something. Um, but just keep it within the chat here. Um, it's just a little collab, a quick collab that I've um, I did with the. Uh, so um, when I went to Marbella, met up with uh, Ugonzo and a guy called Christian. So he's <coughs> uh, he runs the Lost Toys um, NFT on the Chronos chain, um, and they got these minis. So. Basically, me, Gonzo, and Genius all tripped out one of his meanies, and um, they're going to be uh, like an airdrop to high tier holders, whales. Um, I wasn't, I really, I wasn't sh um, sure if I was going to do it because uh, I am actually rammed with work with Pad, but um, I did it pretty quickly. So it's just a little little side thing, and I think it was a good test to see, you know. Um, of what other collabs can can be done with other projects, but also because you Gonzo and Genius, we were planning on doing a proper collab um, on something in the in the new year after. We just can't. I can't do it now because everything that we're rolling out, I just don't have the time. Um, but I think it's good foreshadowing just to kind of see us te like teamed up doing a little thing, a little something together. Um, but yeah, uh, even though they're on the Kronos chain, these are like whales that um, that are big in that. Uh, they're big across uh, multiple multiple platforms, so I think it'll be good exposure again for Pad. So. Um, I'll show you what a tripped out mini looks like. But again, guys, keep it, keep it on the download. I don't know if Christian wants me to even sneak it. But drawing chat can get a little sneak. It drops tomorrow anyway for them. Hmm. Gentle, uh, um, uh, I don't know. His uh, Gonzo's doing his own thing. We're gonna do something a little different. So it won't be he won't be um he won't be involved in the Gen two traits. Actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to sneak this thing. Okay, because again, I'm just thinking like if YouTube video. What we might do is we might turn the YouTube video video off. I might get uh. YouTube video off and then we can do just a normal secret secret sneak. Unless Christian's in the chat hand he's not. I don't do the I don't do the YouTube video. Uh, I know um, he's announced that we're we're doing something in their Twitter space spaces. Just seen something in the um. I forget who it was on 
Twitter, someone was saying, oh, I can't wait to see this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I might just get bothered to, to edit out of YouTube at the end. So I'll be like, hey, we're all finished, and then just stay on, guys, and we'll... I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if... um. <laughs> like, you have guys have no idea how much I want to... Um... Sneak to reveal this but we should be full drop on um end of the weekend and um i might do a bit of more of a bigger sneak tomorrow maybe vice is keep me on lock and key i'm not gonna lie i must be the most <laughs> annoying artist to be a co-founder with because I'm just like, <laughs> I get too excited, guys, and I just want to, I just want to share it all. But I know this process, due process, guys. Yeah. Uh, do I vectorize? It depends. Like so, for instance, Gen two is um is obviously as you can see raster because it's in Photoshop. Uh, all pad one was vectorized. Um, it just depends on what you want to do or what you're trying to achieve. Um, what I found with um, what I found now as well, and that's why I love having the Cintiq is I'll jump between programs. So you get a mixture of things. Because again, I am a little bit like, I know sometimes I can't, it can be, a, it's its own detriment, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to um, some stuff. So if I know I can achieve very smooth line or, you know, or that almost perfection part, I'll go into Illustrator. Even though like, you know, with Photoshop, my hand's pretty steady as well and having a bit of a smoothing tool, I can achieve lines that, you know, to the naked eye would appear vectored lines anyway, but for me, I kind of see the imperfections too. I'll jump between. Like, so for instance as well, something like a big long line like that here, like this one here, I could probably still do it hand, hand wise, but I'd rather get it um, an illustrator. Stuff with the tails as well, like a tail like this, you have to do really, you know, perfect, so I'll, um, I'll take that into Illustrator. You know, other stuff as well it, um, makes it easier. It's like this tongue, the shape of it hasn't changed that much. So I will go into Illustrator, take a line art, adjust the line weight, bring it in. And then, you know, we can add the uh, extra bits like the, the drool like this. Uh, yeah, so evolutions on, um, the Dirty Diamonds, it will be, um, <laughs> literally that's me, Jurassic, um, will come a bit later, uh, because just time, time-wise, um, yeah, we want to be able to get stuff out to the general pop population and then still keep, create some anticipation for the rest. Um, but what I might do is I might start to wrap it up now um, because um, I need to go eat and we are approaching three o'clock. Just remember guys, your POAP, just open up a ticket 
then you can claim this one, which is a piece of pink hair. Um, we'll add the uh, drool to the um, this acid tongue still, which would be cool. And I will show you guys the sneak of the um, I'll show you the sneak of the da, 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 uh, the mini. But just guys, keep it in the chat. It's gonna get dropped tomorrow anyway. But just um, don't screenshot or do anything crazy because I might get in trouble. But um, I'll show you what the tripped out mini looks like. So I still need to add a few more things. But um, basically, they're because they're like the lost toys. They got a defective battery. So it's going to be jammed into his head and it's tripped him out um, to the max. Um, I'll show what the meanies look like originally. Actually, one sec. Um, where is it? So I'll show what I started with. So the minis are a 3D, but I, I, had, I had kind of free range just to go crazy with it. Um, but just do it in my style as well. But the thing is, I'm going to add is um, I'm going to add some drool as well and some flames. But he's pretty much nearly ready to go. Uh, but this is what the mini looked like originally. So mini, pad mini, <laughs> and going to have the little pad earring in there as well. You got to. But yeah, that's what that one looks like. Yeah, so it's a it's a collab thing. It's something that again I didn't want to um I didn't want to spend a heap of time on it. So I really did smash that out really quick because again I'm all for pad, but again because you Gonzo and Genius were involved, I met the guys on my band. He's a really cool guy, and they got a cool project. So I thought. Little cross chain collab, something quick, nothing too crazy to take me away from pad. But then, yeah, it should because it's going to um, there'd be like 150 whales, they get airdropped. Basically, if you're a whale, I believe is what it's happening. Like, if you're a whale, you get one of three. So, you Gonzo and Genius have done their own. Um, the thank you, not Sun one eight. Yeah, I know it's good for exposure, but also don't want to um like my priority is always pad so but i thought you know it's good because good exposure and it's a bit of foreshadowing for um me you gonzo and genius teaming up for something proper um in the new year but again none of that can be done until we roll out all this other stuff first but yeah i mean what i like about it is it's a good it's a good example of like Let's say we we have a, a really cool project we want to get involved with, but instead of having to like do something super crazy, I just tr like you know I kind of like trip out one of theirs and stuff like that. It's all about networking, guys. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for today. Again, guys, um, there will be um. So I mean, obviously we've got the uh, the briefcase drop and the staking stuff um, happening. I think it's the Monday, and um, I'm like some of the graphics that we got for that. I'm super 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 excited with, but also just the whole nature of the beast is really exciting. Um, but we will announce some other stuff uh, hopefully on the Sunday, so you'll also get to see this in its glory. Um, and then obviously heaps of other stuff um, on its way. So yeah, I'm working around the clock. Um, but um, it's it's also because I see so much of the hype coming from everyone and it just gets me super excited as well. So I'm just like load up on the coffees and let's, let's fucking, let's do this. Um, but yeah. As always, guys, it's my absolute pleasure um, to hang out with you guys and do a little bit of live drawing and a lot of chat. <laughs> um, remember, guys, uh, open up a ticket for your PO apps. Uh, um, what
watch the Discord for more announcements. And yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. And um, yeah, always a pleasure, fam.